All right, Thomas, uh, wire step, how do you find the wire step, please? Okay, so it's going to be y equals 5 times 0 <coughs> squared minus 3 times 0 minus 8. After all that, what does that equal, please? Thomas, you lost it here. Yeah, yeah this is going to be negative 8, so my point's going to be 0 and negative 8. I always start with that one first because that's generally the easiest. Okay, it's very, very difficult to mess that up. Okay? Um, so remember the y intercept is going to be one of our key points. Juliana, what point do I do next? X intercept or vertex? Um, okay. Sounds good. How do we find the x intercept, please? Y Okay, good. So set y equals 0. It's going to be 0 equals 5x squared negative 3x minus 8. Good. Julian, you're not done yet. There are two ways to solve this equation. Can you tell me one of them, please? Quadratic formula. Can you recite that from memory, please? Go ahead. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Good. Callan, what's your a, what's your b, and what's your c, please? Okay, great. So let's just pull up our chance. All right, Holly, can you sub the numbers, please? Go ahead. Good. Is that somewhat okay so far? Please ask for something not clear, especially for the people that weren't here yesterday. For all as well? Can I read them? Yes. Good. Um, I think it doesn't matter if it's like, I did like this. Is that still work? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so what Cody was saying is he did it on another line. He did the plus or minus together, root 169, and then once the square root, you put them apart that line. All right, Riley, what is the square root of 169, please? Good. So x equals 3 plus 13. Plus 10 or x equals 3 minus 13. Now, just so you guys are aware in the future, not that you care, we want to tell you anyway. Okay, one question. Go ahead. Yes. Um, not that you care, but I'll tell you anyway. As soon as you see an even square root like that, that tells you that you should have mailed it back. That's what it tells you, okay? But you guys didn't want to factor, that's okay. You could have actually factored that um, for uh, multiply to negative 40 and add to negative 40. All right, what are my two roots, please? Go ahead, x equals. Um, is it 1.60? Yeah. Zero? Oh, I don't know. Okay, yeah, you're fine. And, and negative 1. Yeah. Yes, x equals negative 1. Okay. And again, say one last thing. Where did you get the comma zero from? Because we made y equal to zero. Right, that was our very first thing we did here. So mm -hmm. Okay, are we feeling somewhat okay before I keep going here? I know quadratic formula is deep, okay, right? But I'm hoping we've got enough of these right now. This should be good. Now, generally, what's going to happen on your test on Friday is one of two things going to happen. Option number one, Cody, is your quadratic formula will work out beautifully like this. And in exchange, bless you, in exchange, your completing the square will be a mess, like what happened today. Option number two is your completing the square is beautiful, and you have to do a messy old quadratic formula. One of those two things is going to happen. Liam, yeah. yeah. can you do the first? Actually, do you want to graph this first? Yeah, let's graph this first. Or I'll do the vertex. Vertex, Liam, first step of finding the vertex of what? Uh, take out the base value from the equation. 
So we're going to compute from the square. I'm going to start with my regular equation, which is y equals 5x squared minus 3x minus 8. Okay, can you tell us right, please, Liam? I'll take a 5. Go ahead. Uh, 5x squared yeah. minus 3 yeah, 3 over 5, I'm going to call it 0 0.6. 3 over 5 works as well. Minus 8. Now, it's always, I'm going to ask the question about that, and you always divide the x divided by the x squared coefficient. Always, always, always. Damage. Damage. The internet didn't hear you to say that. Thanks, Ryan. I don't think we're done. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, stay on the track. All right. Um, oh, I think it is. All right, Ms. Cole, what are you next, please? Can I get rid of this left page? We're good? Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be, I'll sit over here and make more room. It's going to be uh, negative 0 0.6 divided by 2 squared, which happens to be negative 0 0.3 squared. Did you get what uh, Nicole was negative 0 0.3 squared was? All right, Connor, what are you next, please? There it is. It's going to be 5 bracket x squared minus 0 0.6x plus 0 0.09 minus 0 0.09 minus 8. Okay. All right, Jennifer, what are you doing now, please, if anything? So that turns into y equals 5 bracket x squared minus 0 0.6x plus 0 0.09 uh, minus 0 0.045 minus 8. Now I'm hoping, just as we're going through the class here, Cody, one sec, um, most people are giving good answers on all this stuff. So I'm hoping we're feeling pretty good as a class with a quadratic form of completing the square. I'm hoping now we're feeling a little over that. Say, Matt, final step here is going to be what? Where does this turn into? Plus and your minus is mixed up here. Right, because that's a negative and a negative, right? So that's going to be both sides in We're good? Yeah. Okay, uh, Will, what's my vertex, please? Uh, positive. Okay, good. Now I'm going to get this graphed up right now. I'm going to write all my points on this page to make sure it's good. I have, what else do I have? 0 and negative 8. What's my y in? Uh, my x ints were, what were they? 1.6 and 0 and negative 1 and 0. You don't have to summarize like this at the end, but for me, if I'm on two pages here or three pages here, where it's like I tend to be, um, I want to do it there. Okay. Any questions so far? Sorry. Oops. All right, let's get this graphed up, please. Here we go. Uh, please remember uh, that our test is going to be Friday. We're going to have a review period on Thursday. So Thursday we'll go through all the different types of questions. Uh, that we're going to be on. If you're not here on Thursday because you're at uh, golfing or something like that, please don't get any class. No game class. I don't know how Cody got that muffin in here either. No game class. Why is that? I didn't hear yesterday too. It's a bad yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's draw this, please. Here we go. Yes. Yeah. Always we're going to, yeah, we'll always do that in this class. Uh, the review book. I think it helps you guys to know exactly what's coming in the test. 
in this class, I'm not here to surprise or shock you, right? Like when a test comes, you say, yeah, I've seen this before, I can do it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Uh, there's zero, one, two, three, four, five. We'll go one, two, uh, negative one, negative two. How do you get a negative nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. All right. And please note for everyone here that. Uh, Again, the scale is different left and right, top and bottom, and that's fine. Okay? Whether I count by ones or twos or fives up and down doesn't affect what happens side by side. Right? Now I know you guys are saying, yeah, yeah, but no one does this on your test. Okay, so please make sure you have that down. All right, zero and negative eight is down here someplace. Uh, 1.6 and zero is over here someplace. Uh, negative one and zero is over here someplace. And 0 0.3 and negative 8.45 is about here not similar. Okay, can somebody give me two reasons why that's a good vertex? Why does that make sense for a vertex? Anybody here? Two reasons, please. Guilty, do not look at that corner anymore. I need you in the zone. Right. Give me two reasons why that's a vertex. Why that's a good vertex. Go ahead. Yeah, good. Okay. What else? Go ahead. Yes, good. But just with that point, though, why is that a good point? Where does the vertex have to be? The lowest point. Okay, so this is the lowest point on the ground. As well as in the middle, it looks like a parabola. All that stuff is good there, too. Okay. There's that. And there's that. Okay. I'll put my title, which is y equals 5 x squared yeah. negative 3x negative 8. All right, final step is to make a range. Okay, can I have somebody be brave and tell me please what the domain is for this graph? What's the possible domain? Okay. X is anything good in Cody, okay? Every parabola, if you take a look, the X values go on infinitely long left and right, okay? So there's one mark on your test right now. Where is one out of 50? Y value is a little bit more difficult. Okay, can somebody be brave and try the Y value? It's going to be a little more complicated. Uh, yeah, and bigger, right? So you can say negative 8.45 and bigger, good. So I'm going to call that y is greater than or equal to negative 8.45. Now, if you say this up, Mr. Saddle, I'm still not good at the squiggly brackets. Start to be good at them. If uh, Matt says on his test, from negative 8.45 to infinity is only half a mark, and he's correct, right? But because it's not in full set, do that, okay? I'm more interested that you guys understand all the English, um, but yeah, I'm one of the requirements of the curriculum is that you do it in the set of pages. Any other questions here before we move on here? Okay, for those who had the morning here yesterday, how are we feeling? Yeah, yeah, all right. I pause the video, you get 30 second break, then we'll start with today's lesson. Wait, wait.